All right, here we go. I'm just going to set up and make a SketchUp video for the grade sixes. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up SketchUp 2015. I believe that's the same version that's on the computers in the lab. Uh, when you go in, if it asks for a template, use the template that says feet and inches. This is the one that we will want to use uh, for the toolbox since that's the measurements that we used when we were constructing it. So you can go ahead and go right into SketchUp. Now you can see you usually start with an individual that's standing on the screen. Don't delete that individual. He's there or she is there to provide a perspective on your creation that you're going to be making. So the first step is to create the base of the toolbox. So I'm going to go ahead and create it beside this individual who looks very, very familiar, almost Stan Lee-ish. Uh, so I'm going to make the rectangle but without clicking in the box at the bottom here where it says dimensions I'm gonna go ahead and put the dimensions of the base of the toolbox so you're gonna um, click on 15 and then put in the um, the symbol for inches and then press comma and then put in six inches to provide the information for the the base of the toolbox. So now that I have that, you see it shrunk right down, but that's the exact size of the toolbox. At this point, we're gonna go up and we're gonna use the push-pull tool. Um, just go on the surface of the base, pull up on it. It doesn't matter how much you pull up. You're now gonna put in exactly how thick that piece of wood is. And the wood that we're using for this project is half an inch thick. So you can go ahead and put in decimal five inches press enter and it will give you the thickness of the wood. So voila, we have finished the base of the toolbox. We're well on our way. The next step now is to move to the end of the toolbox and we're gonna work off of this edge here and we need to make a separate piece. So on your keyboard, you're gonna find the control key in the bottom left corner of your keyboard and if you click down on it, you're going to get that plus sign. So I'm just going to click it several times here so you can see the plus sign show up. Once you have the plus sign showing up, then pull sideways and you can see it's added and made a new piece of wood. Like I said before, you can pull it out as far as you want. Okay, release it. And then we're going to put in the thickness that we want for this wood. This wood is also half an inch thick. So I'm going to put in decimal five, the inch symbol, press enter. So now I have the thickness for that side piece and now we're ready to put the length in. So this piece, when we're cutting it, it was nine inches tall, but we already have half an inch of wood to work with here. So I'm not gonna press the control key, so we don't want the plus symbol showing. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this piece up, and I'm gonna pull it up, and I have to put in eight decimal five inches, enter, because I'm adding the eight and a half onto the nine that are onto the half inch that we already had so this piece is now nine inches tall and if I just want to confirm that I can go ahead and use the um, the dimensions tool so we can pull it out and you can see here that it is nine inches tall that's exactly what we want I'll go ahead and go to the other side do the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and use the push-pull tool all right, so you're going to go onto the surface, click on the control key, the plus sign comes up, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out on it. And if you want, you could also put in 1 over 2, and then the inch sign. That's another way of putting in half an inch, but I do find that takes a little bit more time. And now I'm going to go from the top. I'm not going to press down on the control key, pull up on it. Now this time we don't have to put in the exact measurement. We can use a reference and reference the other sides and line them up. So we know both those are nine inches. If we want to confirm it, go to the edge, pull out on it, and you can see we're at nine inches. So we have our two sides on. And uh, the next thing that we could do is we could cut these edges or, or put the lines in so we know where the edges go. So we're going to want to use our tape me measure. Here's a tape measure. We're going to go from the bottom. We're going to measure up. So if you look in the bottom right corner, you're going to get your inches. Sorry about that bell. It's the start of the school day. So I'm up at four inches and I'm going to click on it. So you can see if we look in really close here, there's a small dot. That's our reference point showing that that's where we're going to make our lines to. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I can use that as a reference point. Okay, and get that set up at four inches. So now I have marks on both sides showing that's how high the side pieces are gonna go. 
The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to measure from here to the middle. And voila, again, we have some French coming out of my mouth because I'm so excited. We have a middle reference, which is exactly at three inches, which is what we want. Okay, now I'm going to also, when you guys were doing this, you had to come in exactly two inches. So in the bottom corner, we're at two inches. I'm going to make a mark there. From here, I'm going to come in two inches and I'm going to make a mark at two inches. So I'm almost there. There we are. Clicked on it. So now I have my markings for doing my drawing. I'm going to go ahead and use the pencil tool and I'm going to draw from here to here to give my shape to the top of my toolbox. So I have both those in. And then in the middle, it's also a good idea. I just draw a line right down the middle because we're going to be drilling our hole out right here. So now that I have this done, I can go ahead and push these sections off because we don't need them anymore. So those are gone. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'll go ahead and pause the video. I'll do that side and then we'll show you how to do the sides. All right, we both have both ends finished on the toolbox. We have the base completed. Now we're going to go ahead and um, create the sides. So we're going to go on to the base of the toolbox once again, press down the control key. We're going to pull out on it. Now this piece isn't a half inch thick. It's only a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm going to put in decimal to five inches, press enter to have the thickness of the side. At this point, we're going to keep working with the same piece. So I don't want to press the control key. I'm going to pull it out, put it flush with this end of the toolbox. And I want to go to this end, make it flush with this end of the toolbox. And then I'm going to pull it up. So I'm just going to change my angle here so I can see the top. Pull it up and we're going to put it flush here. So there is the one side of your toolbox. Now uh, you go ahead and give that a try. I am going to complete the other side. Um, and I will be back to show you how to put on the handle. All right, the toolbox is really starting to come together now. The only part we have left to do is the um, cylinder, the handle that goes across the middle. So we're going to go ahead and go to this side. I've already put in the reference line that shows the center of the, um, the side of the toolbox. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tape measure. And we're going to measure down one inch from the top. That's where we want to put in the handle, the center of the handle anyways. And now that we have that, we'll go ahead and use the um, circle tool. And I'm going to pull out, when I do this, I want to make this, um, we're, we're setting it up and we're doing the radius. So we want to put in three eighths. So you're going to want to use a fraction here. So I'm going to put in three over, sorry, I was going to wait for that announcement to finish, three over eight inches and press enter. So that's the exact same size of the dowel that we'll be using. 3 eighths is the radius. The diameter of this is 3 quarters of an inch. So that's the size of the dowel that you'll be getting from the um, woodwork shop to cut. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so you guys can go ahead and do that. And I'll come back and show you how to make the dowel. In order to make the dowel, we're going to have to go down and delete some lines here before we start. Uh, so we are working with only the circle. So I'm just going to get rid of these lines here. The reference point in the middle, we can get rid of that too. It wouldn't affect the drawing if we did leave it, uh, but we no longer need it. So I'm going to go ahead and again, we're going to use the push-pull tool. I do something different here though. It's, uh, instead of just pushing on it, I'm going to pull it out a touch and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to push it all the way through. I'm just going to get it to the center here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push it all the way through but you can see I click the control button, so we have the plus sign. It's going to go all the way across, and then I'm going to connect it onto the back of that side. So the reason I did that was um, if you have this little section sticking out, that's okay when you're building it, but it also gives the viewer um, the perspective that, that that's a closed-in cylinder. So that gets you to the point where your toolbox is complete. The only thing left to do is you need to paint it. So you can go ahead and grab the paint bucket and I'd like you to paint every um, piece that's different, a different color if it's the exact same piece. So for instance we have the two end pieces. Um, they should be the same color in the illustration. The two sides should be the same color. 
the base should be a separate color and the dowel should be a separate color. That will give the viewer a good idea of what the, um, the toolbox looks like and it will also show uh, like parts um, corresponding to their colors. All right, I wish you luck and I hope your drawing goes well. The last thing to do when you are finished is to put in your dimensions. So you can go ahead and click on the dimensions, find the line, pull out on the line, and that will let the person looking at your project see exactly how um, big the different parts of the project are, and that will help them design and make their own. All right, thanks for watching and good luck with your project.